The Committee on WIPO Standards meets once per year here at WIPO headquarters in Geneva. The most recent meeting took place between May 29th and June 2nd. Young Wu Yun is the secretary. Young Wu, tell us, what were the uh, top agenda items for the week? Okay, thank you. For the, uh, there were 25 agenda items, and I would like to highlight most important items. Three items. First, the outcome of the survey on the use of the WIPO standard by IP offices to assess the current implementation status of WIPO standard by IP offices and to discuss how to deal with the problems of the implementation reported by IP offices. Second, the new WIPO standard on the patent legal status, which is the long-standing and important item in the IP community. Third item was the the transition provision of the, the sequence listing standard from SD25 to SD26, which is crucial that the all IP offices should stand on the same page because this transition will likely impact the business practice, the regulations and IT systems of IP offices. Wow, 25 agenda items, that's quite a busy week. Tell us, what were the main outcomes of the week then? Yes, it's not easy to summarize, but uh, <clears throat> CWS, they discuss many topics and then they conclude some of the importance. For example, CWS adopted two new WIPO standards and approved the revision of the one WIPO standard and decided on the transition from 25 to 26, and that the CWS also created new tasks for the future work. Anything else you'd like to add? And uh, I would like to brief the new WIPO standard. One is the WIPO standard SD27 for the patent legal status to facilitate exchange patent legal status information among IP offices, which is the essential for the freedom to operate analysis. The second new WIPO standard, WIPO standard ST37, for the authority file of the published patent documents to facilitate exchange of the authority files among IP offices and also streamline the effort in assessing the completeness of patent document collection. And I would like to also inform you that the decision on the provision from SD25 to 26, the CWS agreed on the Big Bang scenario and the international filing date as the reference date and the January 2022 as the transition date. And I would like also emphasize the new uh, six tasks for the future work. First, to develop the XML schema for the geography indication. And the second, the study on the XML schema for open works. And the third is the prepare the recommendation for data exchange supporting the machine to machine communication and also the rec prepare recommendation for national or and regional patent registers and also to prepare the recommendation for the electronic visual representation of industrial design. And last but not least, to create a new task on the applicant name standardization. I would like to thank the, all the delegation and participants at the CWS meeting for their kind support and collaboration. Thank you. Thank you, Young Wu. Thank you.